Now the Chemical Safety Board is an excellent resource for information on chemical safety and they also have information on nitrogen safety. The Chemical Safety Board reviewed cases of nitrogen asphyxiation that occurred in the U.S. between the years 1992 and 2002 and determined the following. 85 incidents of nitrogen asphyxiation resulted in 80 deaths and 50 injuries. The majority of incidents occurred in manufacturing and industrial settings, but several incidents occurred in other settings, including laboratories and medical facilities. So what is nitrogen? Well, it's a chemical element with the formula N2. Nitrogen makes up 78% of the air we breathe. Sometimes it's assumed it's not hazardous. However, nitrogen is safe to breathe only if it is mixed with an appropriate amount of oxygen, which means lower oxygen cannot be detected by the sense of smell. It's used in industry as an inerting agent, keeps material free of contaminants, including oxygen that may corrode equipment, present a fire hazard, or be toxic. Now let's go over some of the chemical for nitrogen. So the formula is N2, the molecular weight is 28 grams per mole, the specific gravity is 0.967. Now this is going to be lighter than air because air has a specific gravity of 1. So if it's slightly less than 1, it's going to tend to, to lift or to elevate in, in the presence of air. It's a colorless, odorless gas. It can also exist as a cryogenic liquid. Now in that example, it's compressed to very, very cold temperature to the point where it's compressed from a gas into a liquid. It's a simple asphyxiant. It lowers the oxygen level. Stability and reactivity, it's stable under normal conditions.